fantastic to have. Now the last one is unquestionably the hardest. Unquestionably. If you can avoid them, do so unless you are like them. Right? They're, they're my... I don't, I, don't, I don't advise these personalities anymore. I find them really hard. It's an owl. An owl is a bird that kills. It still kills. It kills at night. You don't know it's killing you. It's killing you. You know what it's doing? It's draining every bit of blood out of you. Okay? Because you know what the owl's love language is? Facts in detail. Oh, my God. And they want to know everything. They're perfectionists. It's analysis by paralysis. It's like, wow, they want all the information. They read the brochures and tell you the typos. What they do is they are research addicts. Google, owls love Google. Because they go in there, because what does an owl do? It becomes an expert. Their love language is facts and details. So I'm telling you, if you are trying to sell to an owl, be precise in your communication. I'm telling you, you'll get smashed because you know what an owl does? An owl knows the answer before it asks the question. An owl, remember, is checking you out. He's saying to you, hang on, hang on. I am asking this question because I've done the research. I want to find out if you know what you're talking about. So you can't fake it until you make it. If you try to fudge it, if you try to, oh, you know, gloss over it, I'm telling you, Al doesn't work that way. Owls are the most logical people. They are totally left brain in their logic. They don't see the forest. They only see the trees. And if you don't answer every tree question, they can't move on. You've probably seen them in certain owl professions. Accountants. Engineers, scientists, they like white papers. Now, one of the greatest techniques is you have to give them facts. They love it. The other technique is stick to business. Be very non-emotional. Give them a structured approach, so logical, a sequence. But I'm going to give you two techniques that work brilliantly. On, on an, and an owl, is that the two techniques are quite simply this. Give them an expert to speak to. See, I've done some work for Cisco. Cisco are brilliant. Uh, what an amazing sales organisation. Brilliant. And when Cisco go and see another owl, which is usually an IT manager, because an IT manager is going to be an owl, aren't they? Okay, in a big organisation like ComBank, CIO, software tester, program director, all owls, right? Now, an owl usually in a sales area is a hopeless at selling because they can't close because an owl looks for perfection. Right? You know what an owl looks for? Everything has to be done correctly. Okay? So what Cisco do is that they bring in two people. They bring in the BDM. Who's the BDM? The BDM's an eagle because BD eagles tend to be the best at selling and so do peacocks. And you know what they also bring in? The owl. Because the owl is, what do they call them? The sales engineer. You know what the owl is there to do? To have a conversation with the other owl. And, and they speak a funny language. It's almost like they're having sex. And you go, wow, what planet are they on? And the reason the BDM is there, because the BDM's role is to kick the owl, Cisco owl salesperson in the shins to say, shut up, I'm about to close. They work in tandem. Because you know what? Uh, you know what an owl responds to? An expert. Because they see themselves as an expert. And another amazing insight into an owl is that you actually honour their expertise. One of the greatest ways that I actually respond positively to an owl is I don't hide the fact that they know a lot. I actually say, look Dale, it's apparently obvious that you know a lot about this car. What have you found out? My God, let an owl who was a frustrated professor get on a pedestal and tell you everything that works. Take notes as they're actually writing. Go, wow, that's extraordinary. And then you, you, know, you know what you say to an owl at the end? So Dale, which one would you buy? They are so logical they close themselves because they have to fall in line with their research. They are that way inclined. It is a brilliant technique. This is making sense. 
You're making sense that what your ability is, man, I got a shift. Because I'm actually in this, I just sell one approach. You don't sell one approach. You actually shift gears all the time and you try to suss them out and you, look, you observe everything about them because there are certain things that you look for when you're talking to them. Just to give you an insight. So the owl is here. How long have I got left, Dale? 15. So the owl is here and the owl needs facts. 